Uh, whoa, uh, y you guys caught the savage animal. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lightning Lane, and I'm glad you can make it because today we are traveling to a city that is made up of all different kinds of animals. It's a city where predator animals and prey animals have worked out their differences and now they live together peacefully. So let's go ahead and draw in color the characters from the movie Zootopia. So of course, uh, let's start with the main character first. Yeah, Judy always wanted to be a police officer ever since she was a little kid. And she became one through a lot of hard work, even though everyone underestimated her. She's quite smart and really just wants to help other animals. Okay, well, you can probably guess who's next. And they become, uh, uh, oh no. Uh, what's that over there? Uh, there's something wrong with him. His eyes, his teeth, uh, I've never seen an animal act like this, especially in Zootopia. Oh no, uh, where did he go? Uh... We need to help him. Uh, guys, there's an animal over there, and it looks like it's gone savage. I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, yeah, you guys need to check it out. It, it looks pretty serious. Okay, well, while Judy and Nick are off investigating the, the savage animal, let's draw another character that might be able to help.
it's Benjamin Clawhauser, the cheetah. So his uniform colors will be similar to Judy's, but his fur color will be yellow and tan with some black dots. Yeah, Clawhauser is very friendly and pretty goofy. He's an officer that works at the reception desk, and even though he wants to do his job well, he gets distracted pretty easily. I mean, he's a huge fan of the celebrity gazelle, and he watches her on his phone quite often. Oh, uh, there she is! Gazelle is a pop idol who loves Zootopia, and she just wants everyone to get along. Now, I know Clawhauser really likes donuts, so here you go. Uh, now, I'm wondering, where did Judy and Nick go? They haven't been back in quite a while. Uh, oh, uh, I think they're over there. Oh, hey guys, uh, what happened? Oh, he got away? Oh man, this is really weird. Do you guys have any idea what's making him go savage? I mean, this doesn't make any sense. And we're kind of at a dead end right now. I, I mean, the city is so big, I, I don't even know where to look for him. Uh, oh, I think I have an idea. Uh, I think I know someone who might be able to help us. Okay, let's quickly draw this character, even though he's the opposite of quick. Yep, it's Flash the Sloth. So let's make his fur dark gray, and his shirt and pants will be dark and light green, and maybe a little bit of red in the tie. Yeah, Flash works at the DMV, and he's quite friendly, but uh, I don't know why they call him Flash, because he's a sloth, so he's very, very slow. But he does eventually help out Judy and Nick with a license plate number. Well, since they got another clue, they are off investigating again. Now, some people aren't too happy about Judy and Nick working on this case, especially the chief. Uh, well, let's just draw him.
It's Chief Bogo, the buffalo. So let's color in his uniform blue with a little bit of gold here and there, and for his fur, we'll use gray. So Chief Bogo is a tough, no-nonsense type of animal. He's against having Judy as a police officer because he only wants the big and strong animals on the police force. He also doesn't like Nick because he thinks that foxes are not trustworthy. But eventually, he is proven wrong and he comes to accept Judy and Nick. I, oh, whoa, D do you hear that? It's coming from over there! Uh, whoa! Uh, y you guys caught the savage animal! Whoa, this is crazy! Uh, yeah, I've never seen an animal in Zootopia become this crazy! And what's really weird is, according to our police records, he used to be a really normal animal. I just don't understand. Um, well, now that we've trapped him, we just need to figure out how to cure him. Um, hmm, well, I, th I think I know someone who might be able to help us. Okay, uh, see if you can guess who assistant for the city mayor, so she has a lot of paperwork to do, but she comes across as very nice and a little shy. She really likes Judy Hopps and wants small animals like herself to succeed. However, there's another side to her, which shows who she really is. She's very deceptive and she deeply hates the predator animals. She is so power hungry and she'll do anything to get her way. She will even poison good predator animals to make them go savage, just to make them look bad. Well, Bellwether, we're not falling for any more of your tricks. You're the true villain. Okay, um, Let's check inside her briefcase. Oh, these are the poisonous chemicals. And this is the tranquilizer that's making these animals go savage. Oh, well, at least we now know what's causing all of this. And I'm pretty sure we can figure out a medicine that will cure the savage animal disease. Okay, the medical lab just gave me an antidote, which should help counteract Bellwether's poisonous chemicals. So, um, oh, 
Hopefully this works. Um, uh, I don't know if this is working. Uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, I think it actually worked. Yeah, I think he's made a complete transformation. Back to normal. Okay, uh, let's get him out of the cage. This is incredible. Okay, uh, there's one more thing that we need to do. Well, Bellwether, seems like you're gonna be spending some time behind these bars. Well, looks like this medicine works, and we can use it on any other animal that has gone savage. So I guess things are gonna be back to normal. But... Uh, wait, what? Is that Flash? The Sloth? Uh... I don't even know what to say to that. I guess, if you like Zootopia, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Oh, and I'm curious. Let me know who your favorite character is from Zootopia. Well, as always, thanks for watching. You're the best audience. And I'll see you in the next video.